Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Russ in this thing, baby. RW Vision, that's my name, little baby. Come in here right now. Get it in right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Your boy about to break it down right now. Uh, 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 uh. All right, then, what's up, baby? What's up? What's up? You know, I try to do a little rap thing. Now, I can't rap for real now. I can I can definitely get it on. I'm just playing. I'm just playing now. I can do it for real now. I can do a bid. You know what I'm saying? I was just throwing a little something out there. But look, I, I'm watching the Saints game right now. The score is 22-19, man. We in the fourth quarter. Um, seven minutes left in the game. Um, it is, what down is this? Third and fourth. Let's see what happened. Uh, drop back. Oh, completed pass first and 10. Oh, my God. This is not good. All right, but anyway, let me break down week four, my week four picks. All, as you can, as you know, guys, uh, the Dolphins, they beat, they lost to the Bengals, man. They lost to the Bengals. The Bengals beat them. They was at Cincinnati. Guys, uh, shout out to Tua. Hopefully he have a, a speedy recovery and everything. I hope so. Um, whoever was the, the doctors for that team for the Dolphins, man, they should have. I think they shouldn't have let him play, man. Y'all saw his fingers, man. It was like, oh my god, it was bad. Oh my god, I don't want to hold my finger. I'll be looking at my fingers every time I see that picture. I do not like those kind of injuries, man. I don't like no bad injuries, man. Like that is serious, man. Ain't no telling how long he'll be out. Oh, oh, oh my god, incomplete pass. Oh my god, Kirk Cousins incomplete pass to Justin Jefferson incomplete. Let's go. Six minutes left. Saints with the lead by three. Let's go. We need to hold them down. All right, but anyway, um, I did predict the Saints to win this game. The over-under for this game was 44 points. And the favorite to win this game was the Vikings. So I picked the under on this game and I picked the Saints to win this game. So right now I'm doing pretty good. But anyway, um, let's go over these games. Here we go. Browns. I got Browns winning, Commanders winning, Lions winning, Titans winning, Giants, Eagles, Steelers, Bills, Chargers. Those are all my winners for my 12 o'clock games, okay? And guess what? The uh, Browns versus Falcons game, I did pick the under on this game. Uh, 48 points total was the point spread. And I have the Browns winning this game, okay? I think that the Browns will play good at Atlanta. The Browns have a very good stout defense. I think they can hold it, hold it, hold it on. Another team, I do know this game is in Cowboys Stadium. That's the Commanders versus the, the Cowboys. I'm predicting the the Commanders to upset the Cowboys. I hate Cowboy fan. Every year they think they win the Super Bowl. Every freaking year. I can't stand Cowboy fan. I can't stand the team. The only thing I like about the Cowboys, my boy Dad Prescott played play for the Cowboys. That's it. Okay. But anyway, um, I do have the uh, Lions beating the Seahawks. I think that the over and under is 50. Yes, it is 50. And the Lions are favored by six points. I am predicting that this game will go over and the Lions will win this game, okay? Now, next, I have the the Titans and the Colts. Guys, I would not be surprised if this game go under. Matter of fact, I am picking this game to go under with the Titans winning this game. The Colts are terrible. They are terrible. I thought, man, that the Texans were pretty good, but they are both trash. The Texans and the, and the Colts are the two bad teams in the AFC South, okay? They are terrible. All right, but anyway... I got the um, Titans win this game, and yes, this game will be the under. Um, next, I have the Bears at Giants. The Giants will win this game, of course. Uh, I think this game will go over. It's only at 39 and a half points. Uh, also, the um, the favorite is the Giants by three points. Next, you have Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles, we all know they are the number one, un the only undefeated team in the NFL. The over and under is 48 and a half points. The Eagles are favored by six and a half points. And yes, I do think this game will go under. I do think this game will go under. Okay, next you have the uh, Jets and the Steelers. Guys, I would not be surprised if this game is under, but I'm picking the over because it's only at 41 and a half points. And the favorite are the Steelers. So I am predicting the Steelers win this game. I mean, I just think the Steelers are a better football team than the Jets, period. Now, my favorite game of today is the Bills versus the Ravens. Let me turn that down. That's just kind of loud. Guys, my favorite for this team, um, this is my favorite game for today, for Sunday, the Bills versus the Ravens. I love when Lamar Jackson play because I know he can be so much better as a passer. I know what he is as a runner, but I want to see him do better. If he ever want to, you know, go to that next level, he has to be a better passer. That's just plain and simple, okay? 
But I have the Bills winning this game. Guys, in my opinion, I think if he's not the best quarterback in the NFL, he's the second best. Okay? It's between Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen. I think, in my opinion, those are the two best quarterbacks in the NFL. Be sure to put that in the comment section, who you think the top two quarterbacks or the top three or top five quarterbacks are in the NFL. Just list them out. Let me know. I would love to debate that with you guys, okay? I would love to do that. Um, but right now, I am predicting the Bills to beat the Ravens. I know it's in Baltimore. And, yes, this game will go under because 52 points is a lot of points in the NFL. And the favorite is the Bills. The favorites are the Bills, okay? So, I'm predicting the Bills. Because I just think the Bills are a little bit better than the Ravens are right now. Uh, the Chargers play the Texans. I think that the uh, over, yes, the over under is 45 and a half points. Um, the Chargers are favorite. Guys, the Texans are a horrible football team again. And this game will probably go under. I mean, if it go over, the Chargers will have to score like 30 points, period. Um, 305 game Central Time, the Cardinals and the Panthers. Guys, the Panthers are a very good football team. They are a pretty good defensive team. But I think the Cardinals can score it. I know the Panthers can score it. I like what the Panthers are doing right now. I know they beat the Saints last week. Um, the over and under for this game is 44 points. The Panthers are favored by one single point. And, yes, I am picking the over for this game. Now, this game is definitely going over. And I'm definitely going to pick the over on this game. I mean, I'm going to go on Bovada and pick the over. This is the Patriots versus the Packers. This game is at 39 and a half points. That's one of the fewest point total for today and yes they had a Packers favorite by 10 and a half uh next game is the Broncos at Raiders uh guys what's up with the Raiders man what is going on they have Devontae Allen they have Derek Carr Darren Wilder a stout defense and they can't win a freaking football game I don't know what's going on but they better win today if they don't win today man it's gonna be hard for them getting a good playoff position because I'm gonna tell you right now the Chargers are still good and the uh, Chiefs are good in that division. And I remember before the season started, everybody was saying that this was the hardest division of football. It, I don't know. It's not so much right now. That division is, I mean, it looking like a cupcake right now. I don't know what's going on with these teams. Because I, I know for sure, once Russell Wilson came to the Broncos, they was going to be deadly. They're not that deadly as I thought. Um, you got Devontae Adams on the Raiders. They're not as deadly. They keep losing games. And, of course, the Chiefs are still good and the Chargers are pretty good. So it looks like you got two really good teams Oh my God! The 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 doggone Vikings score a touchdown. The score is twenty six to twenty two. Oh no no twenty five twenty two. They only died by a field goal. Okay, he missed the extra point. He missed the extra point. Did Adam Thielen snag on him or something? Oh, it was a walk-in reverse by Justin Jefferson. That's how they scored. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of the Saints just keep trying to come back from behind every game. God. Anyway, um, the Chiefs versus the Buccaneers is next. Guys, I have the um, Buccaneers beating the Chiefs. I know that um, this is a regular season game, and Pat Mahomes is very good in regular season. I just think that Tom Brady is better, a little bit better than he supposed to be because you know people just like he's over a cliff and I think is Chris Godwin coming back it depends on how his receivers play if his you know what let's say the Chiefs win this game I think the Chiefs will win this game I know it's not good to bet against Tom Brady so let's go with the Chiefs I think the Chiefs will win this game and over under this game will definitely go over okay I think this game will go over and let's say the Chiefs will win this game because the Buccaneers team has been not, they haven't been healthy lately. Um, so let's say the Chiefs will win this game. Um, next, you have Sunday Night Football. That is that is Sunday Night Football. I'm sorry. The Monday Night Football game is the Rams versus 49ers. Guys, this game has to go under. These two teams are hard on the football teams. They play hard and they play good defense and they don't score a lot of points. The Rams or the 49ers, none of these teams are in the top 10 in offense for the league. None of these teams are. So I'm going to go for the honor for this team right here. And those are my picks. So we have Browns, Commanders, Lions, Titans, Giants, Eagles, Steelers, Bills, Chargers, Panthers, Packers, Raiders, Buccaneers, and Rams. Those are all my teams that will win this week in week four. Okay, those are my week four picks. Um, be sure to let me know what you guys think. By the way, if you are new to this channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. And smash that like button, man, because this channel is keep growing, man. I mean, every time I, the views are going up. Guys, 
90% of you guys are watching the shows. Y'all are watching my shows, but y'all not hitting that subscribe and like button. We got to keep going. We got to hit that subscribe and like button, man. We got to keep this channel going, baby. I'm giving y'all some supreme content every week, man. Let's go. I'm giving y'all some picks, man. That college football pick, them college football pick are top notch, man. These NFL picks I'm giving y'all top notch. Y'all remember week one when I went 9-5? That was pretty good, man. I went. I did better than some people on ESPN and, and NFL Network, man. They was picking terrible teams to win, and I had picked the best team to win. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to put that in the comments, guys. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.